After acting in the popular prequel Wonka and two successful Dune movies, he is currently one of Hollywood's top actors. However, Timothy Chalamet encountered many skeptics in the early years of his career. The 28-year-old Academy Award candidate said in a recent interview with Zane Lowe for Apple Music that one of the things that Hollywood insiders were most confident would prevent him from succeeding in the business was his body. Oh, you don't have the right body, he recalled. Every time I tried out for the Maze Runner or Divergent, or something similar that was popular at the time, bulking up was the answer suggested by a number of ostensibly knowledgeable persons. Chalamet went on, I had an agent that called me and said, you had to put on weight. Essentially, not aggressively, but you know. However, the ambitious actor chose to concentrate on the kinds of projects that most interested him, which didn't require such a drastic physical makeover, rather than going to the gym every day and using personal trainers, nutritionists, and possibly even steroids. Chalamet claimed that he decided on a very personal style of filmmaking, which led to his roles in films such as the brutal addiction drama Beautiful Boy the Oscar-winning gay romantic drama Call Me By Your Name, and Greta Gerwig's first two critically acclaimed solo directorial endeavors, the critically acclaimed adaptation of Little Women and the quasi-autobiographical Lady Bird. Chalamet stated, Those were really, I don't know how to put it, personable movies that started in this theater space, but they had a smaller budget. I found my rhythm, my flow, my confidence, whatever you want to call it, here. Additionally, the A-lister linked his foray into very personalized movies to the emergence of Bob Dylan, the character he plays in the upcoming biopic A Complete Unknown. It was folk music to Dylan. Comparing their early careers, he stated, I couldn't keep a rock and roll band because they would all get hired by other kids that had more money, literally in Minnesota. Naturally, Timothy's early success in art house and low-budget movies hasn't stopped him from acting in big-budget productions. He secured the highly sought-after role of Paul Atreides in Denis Villeneuve's two-part adaptation of Frank Herbert's iconic science fiction book Dune, trading in minor but significant supporting parts for meteor lead roles. Due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic and Warner Brothers' decision to give the movie away for free to Max, then HBO Max, subscribers on the same day it opened in theaters, the first was technically only a modest success at the box office in 2021, but it was well-received by critics and fans. Timothy played Willy Wonka in the musical prequel Picture Wonka, which was another box office hit and earned good reviews. This year's Dune, part two was a considerably greater success. He still finds time for modest, in-between projects, such as his Dylan biopic and Marty Supreme, which he co-directed with Josh Safdie for Uncut Gems. On Christmas Day, a complete unknown is anticipated to be released in U.S. theaters.